The rift between SpaceX and the FAA is growing. While the authorities have yet to grant the company a launch license for the Starship, a new obstacle has appeared for Elon Musk that could derail SpaceX's relationship with the FAA even further. Let's take a look at this new obstacle, the deteriorating relationship between SpaceX and the FAA, and why it is bad news for US efforts in space. It's quite common to face criticism if you haven't accomplished anything, but even when you're actively pursuing numerous endeavors, criticism and obstacles persist. This can be quite perplexing. SpaceX, a company that truly grasps this predicament, experienced it firsthand after their orbital test flight in April. Not only did they have to focus on upgrading their Starship, but they also encountered significant challenges posed by government agencies. At present, despite having everything in place, SpaceX and the entire world find themselves in a state of anticipation, waiting for government agencies to complete their assessments. Just when the issues with the Starship seem to be resolving, the FAA introduced another setback for SpaceX. This time, their target was a different SpaceX product, the Starlink satellites. This unexpected development heightened the disappointment felt by the company and its supporters. The space race has intensified significantly, with countries taking bold steps to challenge the USA's dominance in the aerospace sector. The United States holds a key advantage over other nations due to its robust private aerospace companies boasting cutting-edge technology. These companies are crucial in helping the US stay ahead, but their success depends on a seamless collaboration between private enterprises and government agencies. This synergy is vital for the US to maintain its leading position. However, the current scenario does not reflect this ideal partnership. The strained relationship between SpaceX and the FAA highlights the challenges. A recent issue arose concerning SpaceX's Starlink system, specifically highlighted in the FAA Center's report to Congress. The report indicated a potential risk associated with the large number of satellites in the Starlink system by 2035. It warned that this high satellite count might elevate the risk of debris, posing a threat to humans on Earth. SpaceX has already launched more than 5,000 satellites, and they are licensed to expand the system to 12,000. Moreover, they are seeking international approvals to launch up to 45,000 satellites in the future. However, the FAA expressed concerns, stating that if SpaceX proceeds as planned, there could be up to 28,000 pieces of debris from deorbited satellites by 2035. This debris might re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, potentially causing harm to humans on the ground. The assessment conducted by the FAA concluded that the likelihood of individuals being harmed by satellite debris would be approximately six incidents per year. This calculation implies that one person would either die or sustain injuries from such incidents every two years. Additionally, the report assigned 85% of these potential risks to SpaceX, a claim that SpaceX vehemently rejects. SpaceX found these accusations and predictions to be absurd and ungrounded. In response, they formally requested the FAA to rectify the inaccuracies present in the report. SpaceX's principal engineer, David Goldstein, expressed in a letter to Congress that the FAA's report was built on flawed analyses, predictions, and assumptions. He emphasized that the FAA did not collaborate with SpaceX to gain comprehensive insights into the Starlink system before issuing the report. Goldstein also highlighted that the design of Starlink allows for complete destruction upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere after being deorbited, addressing concerns about space debris. Since 2019, SpaceX has successfully launched over 5,000 satellites, with only 392 experiencing failures or being deorbited as of October 9th this year. Notably, no debris related to these events has been detected, underscoring the effectiveness of the Starlink satellite system. Goldstein pointed out that the FAA's analysis seemed to rely on outdated data from other satellite programs, specifically referencing the Iridium communications project. However, he argued that Starlink and Iridium are fundamentally different in various aspects, including materials, design, and structure. Therefore, conclusions drawn from the Iridium project cannot be directly applied to Starlink. Moreover, Goldstein criticized the FAA report for disproportionately focusing on SpaceX's Starlink system while neglecting to address the potential risks associated with other satellite systems like Kuiper or OneWeb. This selective scrutiny appeared unjust to SpaceX and the Starlink project, especially considering the system's track record and accomplishments. Elon Musk's vision in creating Starlink was to extend internet access to every corner of the globe, even the most remote and challenging areas. In comparison to existing satellites, Starlink offers a revolutionary internet network characterized by higher speeds, broader coverage, and lower latency. The potential benefits this technology holds for the United States are immense. Starlink stands to enhance lives, foster economic growth, and advance various sectors such as social, scientific, technological, and educational domains. Importantly, it has the power to bridge the digital divide, particularly in remote regions, narrowing the developmental disparities between different parts of the world. Beyond its civilian applications, Starlink also plays a significant role in bolstering the US defense sector. 
It contributes to strengthening the country's military capabilities, a fact notably demonstrated during conflicts such as the Russia-Ukraine war. Despite these considerable contributions, the FAA seems to overlook Starlink's positive impact, instead focusing on criticism. Paradoxically, their attempts at criticism only highlight the weaknesses and outdated methods within their own operational framework. At Starbase, SpaceX's Starship project is facing even greater challenges following its first orbital test flight in April. Since then, SpaceX has been diligently working to overcome obstacles, including the necessary upgrades to Starship and the launch infrastructure, as well as fulfilling corrective actions mandated by the FAA. Despite their efforts, several government agencies have continued to pose hurdles. In the past few months, SpaceX managed to complete the required tasks, leaving everything prepared and awaiting approval from these agencies. However, the anticipated departure signal from the government agencies has yet to come. After the FAA's involvement, the Fish and Wildlife Services stepped in, initiating additional reviews of Starship's recent upgrades. This additional scrutiny might result in Starship's schedule being delayed until the following year, a situation that has left many, including Elon Musk, disappointed. Musk expressed his frustration on September 21st through a tweet, calling the situation unacceptable. He found it absurd that SpaceX could construct a massive rocket more quickly than bureaucratic paperwork could be processed. Musk's tweet highlighted his exasperation with the delays imposed by these agencies, especially considering the urgency of SpaceX's ongoing endeavors. SpaceX has been rapidly advancing, particularly in the Starship project, driven by impending crucial missions. When asked about the timeline for landing a Starship on Mars at the International Astronautical Congress, Musk revealed his aim to accomplish an unmanned Starship flight to Mars within the next four years. This ambitious goal necessitates accelerated efforts, emphasizing the pressing need for swift progress within his company. In addition to its independent ventures, SpaceX is an integral part of NASA's Artemis project, a mission aimed at returning humans to the moon after an absence of more than half a century. According to the schedule, SpaceX's HLS Starship is set to participate in the Artemis 3 mission, slated for late 2025. The primary objective of this mission is to assist in landing astronauts on the lunar surface. However, with just a two-year preparation window, the success of this crucial mission hinges on the completion of orbital test flights. Until these tests are conducted, progress on any steps or plans remains on hold, contingent upon the decisions made by the FAA and other relevant agencies. These challenges, among many others, faced over the years underscore the complexities that SpaceX, and by extension the United States, confront in the space race. As the competition intensifies, entering a pivotal phase that will determine the victor of this new space race, SpaceX stands as a key player crucial to helping the US surpass its ambitious adversaries. What SpaceX needs are opportunities and optimal conditions to unleash its full potential. The barriers and problems currently impeding SpaceX's development must be swiftly eliminated. The US government holds the key to removing these obstacles promptly. By doing so, SpaceX's capabilities can be fully harnessed, not only ensuring its success, but also contributing significantly to America's triumph and renewed glory in the realm of space exploration. What do you think? Are the authorities being too strict with SpaceX? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.